We're going to begin. Uh, good morning. It's 40 minute uh, ring of fire class. All right. So everybody come to the mat with the ring. We're going to start with the ring on the side of right side of your hip. Your uh, right hand is nice and long and we're just going to press it in. We're going to do 10 reps. Okay. Of each exercise. So stand up nice and tall, draw the belly in, just look forward and now press in one, hold it and release. Two and release, three and release, four and release. Feel your abdominal obliques and six, release, seven, eight, nine and 10. Beautiful, try not to bend that elbow. All right, switching over to the left side, left hand on top of that foamy part and squeeze it in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold it there. I want you to touch the uh, left side of your body. Feel those obliques working and release. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do lunging and we're gonna place the ring in front of us. So the right foot is forward, the left foot is back. You can um, go down all the way where your left knee touches the mat or not, okay? So when you go down, I want you to feel you press the ring in together as you come back up, all right? So here we go. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Press going down and come on back up, release. Two, and release. Three, four, five, belly in. Six, woo, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good morning. Release, shake out the legs a little bit. We're going to do lunges on the left side. Here we go. Left leg forward, right leg back. All right. Ring is right in front of you. You're pressing with the inside of the arm nice and long, okay? So here we go. Come on down, one, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes, nine, and 10. Come on up, shake out the legs. All right, we're gonna come down to um, uh, our backside, laying down onto our back. We are going to do one 100s. Put your legs inside the ring, have your ring right about uh, at your ankles, legs up to the ceiling, all right? So your choice is keep the legs straight, drop them down, you roll up, you flap the arms. Second is bend the knees in, roll up and flap the arms. All right, I'm gonna count to 100 for you guys. Right down on the mat. Make sure your lower back is connected to the mat. All right, you, you're already connected down to the mat. Inhale, make sure you breathe also. Exhale, roll up and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull the legs apart. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. 60, 70, 80, 90, 
One, 100. Draw the knees in a minute. Um, I didn't cue this ahead of time, but at any point in your Pilates, your neck starts to hurt. Just put your hand behind your head. Give it support, okay? All right, next thing is you're gonna put the ring in between your thighs laying on the back. Your toes are gonna tap down to the mat. Put your feet and toes onto the mat. Knees are bent. We're gonna do hip dips, but we're gonna go up onto our toes once we reach our hips up to the ceiling. The arms are nice and long, palms face down to the mat, everybody. Lengthen the neck, and now draw the belly back so that the lower back is pressed into the mat. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips up, come up to your toes. Draw the hips down, one, up, squeeze the ring, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and draw the knees into the chest. You're gonna put the ring right in front of that right knee. Right hand is on the ring. Dead bug, everybody. Draw the right knee up, left leg up, left arm up, all right? Again, connect the lower back. We're doing abs a lot this morning. Here we go, open up one, press into the ring to close it. Two, three, you don't have to draw the arm and leg to the mat. And here's five, woo, six, beautiful, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, release. Shake out the legs a little bit and switch the ring over to the left front of the left knee. Left hand is on the ring. Right leg is up, right arm is up. All right, dead bug on the right side here. Open up one and draw it back. Two and draw back. Whoo, three and draw back. Are you pressing the arm into the ring? Hello. Aha, uh -huh. and here's five. Press it back. Six, and press it back. Seven, eight, whoa, nine, <clears throat> ten. Ah, beautiful. Shake out the knees, bend it in, roll around. All right, we are going to do double leg lifts with the ring at the ankles. So, Here's your choice, everybody. Ring at the ankles, you can come up onto your forearms and you're gonna reach the legs away from you and then draw them back up. Or if that does not work for you, lay down all the way, draw the legs away and squeeze the ring to come back up. I don't want you to, when the legs are away from you, be straining in that lower back. So don't put the legs down as far as you've you know, where it starts to strain, all right? I'm gonna go up onto my forearms. Legs are nice and straight. Get a little squeeze on that ring. Here we go, one, draw back up. Two, draw back up, Woo. Three, and draw up. Four, and draw up. Five, I'm squeezing that ring to bring it back up. I feel it in my inside of my legs, abductors, eight, nine, last one, 10, and squeeze it up. Come on up to a seated position, fold yourself forward, roll forward. All right, we're gonna do side body, ring at the ankles. I'm gonna go on to my right side. I'm gonna put the ring in between those ankles. It's a lot of leg work today and abdominal. It's all good. 
and arms and butt. All right, my legs are extended nice and long. I'm gonna have my right arm extended also on the mat. This left hand is right in front of me. I'm gonna um, hold my balance there. Or for some of you that have moved to level two, level three, you can raise that left arm up to the ceiling and you find your balance on your side body, okay? The exercise is we lift the legs up, we squeeze, and we bring it down, all right? Lift up one, squeeze, bring it down. Two, squeeze, bring it down. Three, four, and five, and six, squeeze. Seven, eight, you're loving this, I know you are. Nine, and 10. Oh yeah, all right. Switch over to that left side of the body. This is really good for your hip flexors, good for the lower back. I've got my ring in between my ankles, my legs are extended long, left arm is extended long onto the mat. I find my balance, okay? And now I'm gonna raise that right arm, I'm gonna lift the legs up, squeeze, come together. Lift up, squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh yeah, nine, the side is weaker, 10, and come on down. Bend the knees in a minute, and you can sit and bend your knees in. All right, we're gonna do uh, clams on the right side. So we're gonna take that ring and put it in between the knees. All right, so, you wanna make sure that you're kind of stacking the knees on top of each other, all right? You're gonna be on that left or right arm, forearm, right? You're going to lift the hips up and then squeeze the knees together, clam, all right? So look forward also, don't look down because then you curl everything. So I want you to look forward, here we go. Lift the hips up, one, two, three, Four, five, draw that belly in, six, seven, smile, eight, nine, ten, put the hips down, and now you're just going to switch over to the left side. Yes, I'm going to stack my knees on top of each other, put that ring in between the knees, left arm is on the mat. If you don't have a ring, you can still do this, everybody. All right, here we go. Lift the hips up, and now squeeze in one, two, three, four, five, six, look forward, seven, eight, nine, ten and come on down with your hips. Last exercise of our 10 is going to be where we're gonna lay down onto our back and you're gonna put that ring back behind your head. Actually, I don't wanna do that one. I'm gonna have the ring above me and you're, uh, it's going to be where your left leg is extended out. I want you to put that right leg in the ring. You're gonna curl up and then you're just gonna switch legs. All right, again, look up at the ceiling when you're doing this. And if it starts to hurt your head, just bring your head down for a second and come on back up. We are going to do 10. That means, you know, double set, all right? So ring right in front, left leg extends, roll up, put the right leg in, point the toes, 
And now switch to the left. Right side, left side. Make that nice little tight ball when you come back. Woo! This is our third set. Here we go. Four. Five. Look up at the ceiling. Six. Four more. Seven. Ooh, this is an abdominal ripper. Eight. Two more. Nine. I don't mean to be screaming, but it hurts. 10 and 10 and roll on down. Put that ring right in front of you. Rock your hips side to side, everybody. Woo. All right, roll yourself up. We've got to do our standing exercises first. We're repeating. All right, first one we did is we had our right arm out to the side. We're just working the arm, the shoulder, the back side, the ring is at your right hip. Here we go. Press it in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Woo! Over to the left side, you guys. Put that ring on the left hip. Extend the left fingertips out nice and long. You're using your obliques, abdominal, backside, scapula. Good work. Here we go. Press it in. One and release. Two and release. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, hold it in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Woohoo! All right, shake it out. We are going to do lunges. Second set lunges are gonna feel good. Right leg forward, left leg back. So here's another option you can do. You can put your hands inside your ring, okay? I have to take my watch off a second inside the ring and when you're inside the ring with the arms you're pulling them apart when you go down for the lunge so it's your choice you can either press in or you can pull apart all right it's kind of hard to have that ring balanced in front of you all right here we go lunge on down one back up two back up press apart when you come up three Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more, everybody. Look forward. And ten. All right. Can you kick that right leg back to the left? Shake out the toes, the foot on the left side. I'm going to stay with my arms inside my ring. I'm going to step forward with that left leg, open up that right leg as far as I can. I come up on the toes, my arms extend out in front. You can keep that left leg straight while you begin. Here we go. Now bend the left knee and draw back up. You're bending both knees. Two, up, three, up, four, up. Use the glutes. Five. Up, six, press it out. Here's eight, Whoa. nine, and ten. Up, release. Woo! All right, you guys, back down to the mat, and we are going to do a nice little uh, hip dips. Ah, tabletop squeeze. All right, hip dips. So roll on back. Put the ring in between the knees. All right. Put the feet onto the mat. I kind of skipped an exercise in the first 10, so we're going to add it in 
after this one, all right? So arms are nice and long, shoulders wide. Lift the hips off the mat. Come up onto your toes. Squeeze it in and bring the hips down. Stay up on your toes. Lift up two, down, three, down, four, down. Lift up and six, stay out of the neck. Eight, use the glutes and the inner thighs. Here's 10, come on down. Lift the feet off the mat. Your knees are in tabletop. We are gonna pulse 10 in and 10 again. So 20 all together, all right? Lower back is down to the mat. Neck is nice and long. Pulse it in one, two, keep it together. Three, four, keep some contraction. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I mean by that is don't open the legs all the way. Keep a little contraction. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Release that ring. Shake out the legs a little bit. Roll around. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Dead bug. Put the ring right in front of that right knee. The right hand is on the ring. Left arm, left leg up to the ceiling. Engage the lower back. Feel your belly for a minute. You can tell you're already working that lower abdominal. Here we go, lift 90 degree on that right leg. Open up arm and leg, press it in to come together. Two, three, Four, five, six, oh yeah, seven, eight, point that left leg, nine, oh yeah, ten, oh my God. Shake it out a moment. I draw my knees in and then I rock a little bit on that lower back. And now, Left side, dead bug. Ring goes right in front of the left knee, hand on the ring, right arm, right leg up to the ceiling, everybody. Open up and draw it together. Open up two, three. Lower back is pressed into that mat. And four. And five. Woohoo! And six. Four more, everybody. And three. Woohoo! Two. Oh, yeah. And one. Aha! Release that ring. Rock yourself out side to side. Oh my God. Double leg lifts with the ring at the ankles. All right. People, ring at the ankles. I'm gonna come up onto my forearms and I'm not gonna be like in those shoulders. I gotta be nice and long with the legs, nice and long with the neck. And here we go. Draw the legs away from you, squeeze to come on back up. Draw away two, squeeze to come back up. Here we go, three, and draw back up. You can squeeze on the way down. Wherever you want to squeeze, just squeeze. And now six, seven, eight, look up at the ceiling, nine, and ten. Oh my God, bend those knees in, shake it out a minute. We have to do the one one hundreds, okay? One one hundreds. Lay back onto your back, legs up to the ceiling, or you can have you can have the ring at the ankles or at the knees, wherever it feels good to you. I think I'm going to put mine at the knees. Try to keep my legs straight, but I might end up bending them. All right. I'm gonna count the one one hundreds. My back is nice and long on the mat. I'm looking up at the ceiling. I'm gonna keep my knees bent here. Inhale. 
Exhale, roll it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze the ring in. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One, one hundred. Woo! Rock your, you can take your feet, put them on the mat a second, and do a little windshield wiper where you just let your knees kind of sway from side to side, nice and gentle. Don't yank it. Do not yank it, because we just have been doing a lot of lower back uh, work, abdominal work. Woo, all right. Moving on to side body. On your right side, put the ring in between those ankles. This is your second set to really extend those legs, feel your obliques, lengthen that right arm onto the mat. All right, my legs are nice and long. I'm going to maybe raise that left arm up and find my balance. Lift the legs up, squeeze, and bring them down. Lift up two, squeeze, bring them down. Three, and bring them down. Four, and down. Five, and down. Six, and down. Seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Oh my God. Switch to the left side, everybody. We only have a couple more exercises and then we're done. It's Friday. Pure Pilates with the rain. Pure fun. All right. Left side, extend that left arm nice and long. This is where I had a hard time balancing because my Right hip is a little weak. I'm gonna lift my legs up, squeeze it, and come back down. Two, and down. Three, and down. Four, and down. Five, and down. Six, and down. I don't lift my legs up really high. I'm trying to just get into that trochanter hip area, and that's seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oof. Release and switch over. We're going to do the clams on our right side. All right, so to switch it up for just a minute here, I'm going to put my ring at my ankles and I'm going to stack my knees on top of each other. You can put your ring at your knees if you want to. I'm just playing. I'm on my right forearm, okay? So you can lift up and then you're just going to squeeze the knee, kind of the knee and ankle together, all right, on top of each other. All right, here we go. Lift the hip up and now squeeze one, back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on down with the hips, switch to the left side. That really worked, that area that I'm trying to work in my right hip. I liked it. I'm going to do it again on the left side where I have red ring at my ankle. The knees are bent. You're kind of stacking hips on top of each other, knees on top of each other, ankles. Left forearm on the mat. If you can put that right arm up to the ceiling, do it. Okay? Here we go. Lift the hips up and press one. Up. Two. You're staying up with the hips if you can. Three, 
four. Modification is hips down onto the mat. And here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I can tell it's like this right hip is definitely not as strong as my left hip. All right, our last exercise is side body clam, side body, what did I do? Oh, I know it was the roll onto our back and it's the separate leg extension. All right, everybody, this is our last one. Aren't you happy? Knees are bent in, the ring is right in front of you. And again, if you want to uh, do any modification with your hands or anything, go right ahead or not. I am going to roll up, extend the left leg out, right leg comes in, and then we're gonna switch left leg, switch right leg, left, right. You try to roll up when you're switching the legs. It's our fourth set. And here we go, five, woohoo, six, seven, oh yeah, eight, point those toes everybody, two more, nine, woohoo, last one, ten, Beautiful, roll on down, put the ring off to the side, grab your knees and just pull your knees away from your hands. Your hands are on top of the knees, the lower back is pressed to the mat. Relax everything there a minute. We're gonna do knee circles, draw the knees in, open them up and draw them back. Draw the knees in, open them up and come on back where you're kind of pulling away, your lower back is connected. Ah, uh, and now reverse those knee circles. We're gonna do three. Last one. Very nice. And now roll over to your right side. Come up to all fours. Draw those knees and hands away from you for a second. Hips come forward. You're doing an upward dog if you can. And now release, bring the hips back to a child's pose. And now draw forward to that upward dog. Just gentle and easy. It's nothing has to be perfect. Just washing everything out, breathing into the body. Last set, my third one. Mm-hmm, come forward. Ah, and now I'm just gonna Curl those toes under, draw my knees a little closer in, and now I'm gonna sit back with those heels towards the, um, I mean the butt towards the heels. Rocket's right in the way. Go on, sweetie. And then I'm gonna lift my knees off the mat, straighten my legs into that beautiful little downward dog or elephant, walk the hands and feet together, drop the head all the way down, forward fold, Press into the mat, roll up one vertebrae at a time, press the legs in, press the legs in to the mat. Last thing to come up is the head. Thank you so much for joining me in our beautiful 40 minute ring class.